Welcome back to Submerged. I've gotten everything except one more supply and five more secrets. And after that, I should have everything. So let's start working our way towards the last supply. And as soon as we actually get onto this building, it should tell us how many secrets are here. So if there's five secrets on this building, then we're good. If there's less, then I must have missed one or two. So let's find out. Please be five, please be five, please be five. Okay, one. Oh no, there's four. <laughs> I knew it. At the end of the last episode, I think I even said, what do you bet there's going to be four and I'm going to be missing one? All right, so that means I'm missing one secret somewhere out there in the world. Okay, well, you know what? That is completely unacceptable. Nope. I'm having none of that. I am going to go find that secret, and I will be right back. I have been training my entire life for this very moment right here. This is what everything has been leading up to. Okay. I've got this. I can do this. I can do this, just believe! Yes! Yes! All right, here is the secret I have been missing. It's in the bottom right of the map. This thing, for some reason, it has been really, really hard for me to find, even though it's not particularly well hidden. You know, if you if you look at it from this angle, you can see it with your spyglass. And yeah, it's, it's really not particularly well hidden, but for some reason, it was extremely difficult for me to find. In fact, I didn't even find it myself. I ended up having to use a walkthrough. At first, I just went around pretty much randomly, going to areas on the map that it looked like I had maybe not fully explored. I didn't find it that way, so then, uh, then I got methodical. I went to the top right of the map, and then just like went straight south, straight south down, looking from side to side, and then once I reached the south end of the map, I went a little bit west, and then I went straight north, looking from side to side. So I went over the entire freaking map, and I still missed it. it took me about an hour, too. I wish I just looked at the walkthrough to begin with, would have saved a lot of time. But uh, yeah, here's the final secret that I need to get before getting the final supplies. And back to the supplies. Okay, let's do this. And as soon as I get all the secrets, it'll be time to look at the story of the city. Birds! I'm guessing secrets are this way? Probably. There's one.
<laughs> Watch this. This is going to be so good. I'm going to play a prank on these birds. I'm going to be like, hey, I'm here. And they're going to be like, oh my god. And they're going to fly away. They're going to love it. See? Oh. Mm, wait a minute. There's two ways to go. Left or down and then left. Uh, hmm. Let's go down and then left. Aha! Another secret. That leaves two more. Hmm. Wait, where does this go? Does this go to another secret? Or... Oh wait, no, this is back to the beginning, isn't it? Also, I'm in a swarm of bugs and it's really disgusting. Yeah, that's the start right there. Come over there, go up here. Yeah, this is just the other way to go from the beginning. Look at that massive whale in the background. I saw you, stone person. Whoops. Okay, other two secrets are forwards and then just kind of left. So let's go forwards and then, well, left. Hmm. Hold on. First, let me see if there's something down here. Birds! Ooh, there we go. Ah, look at this view. There. How's that? Oh my god. Miku. Thank you. <laughs> it can be a little bit tricky to grab onto the right thing sometimes. Especially when the hotspots are close together like that. Oh my god, there's the final secret! <laughs> it's the final one. Here we go. 60 out of 60. Okay. Let's take a look at the story now. Alright. <sighs> the city story. So, I've got a sun. Mm -hmm. Looks like a normal city. Cars, planes. Then there's a person. Multiple people. Then there's a bunch of people. Families, a dog, birds. Lots and lots of people living in the city. And number nine, more and more people. Number ten, looks like the city got bigger and bigger. Number eleven, the city got even bigger. Number twelve, it looks like the planet became 
I guess overpopulated? Too many people? Too many buildings? Skyscrapers everywhere? Number 13. Something... Something happened to the sun? Became superheated? Or... Something. Something happened to the sun. Number 15. It looks like it became stormy. A big storm. Storm cloud. Storms, waves, water, lightning. Yeah. More and more water. More and more and more and more. Bigger and bigger waves. Flooded the cities. Looks like killed people. Looks like they tried to get to high ground. Flee to the top of the buildings, to the skyscrapers, to try to escape the water. Uh, looks like lightning? Is that lightning? Or something? So something came down and pierced... The ground? Underneath the water? Or... Or is that like... Hmm. Oh, it's like a plant growth. Like plants started... Just growing and growing and growing. I mean, the picture to me, like number 29, 30, and 31, and 32, that strip there, it looks like something came from... Like something shot down. It, it looks like something shot down and like pierced the earth and let something out. Is what it looks like to me, it looks... yeah. But maybe that's not what that means. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, everything flooded. Maybe some sort of alien growth or something? Came to Earth? I'm not sure, but obviously plants started sprouting like crazy. Growing and growing and growing. Looks like it took over the buildings and everything and started killing the people, I guess, or crowding the people out. Thicker and thicker and thicker. The entire city was completely flooded. Then the water level went back down, but now... At that time, everything, all the buildings were covered in green. They're all covered with plant life. And then plants started to thrive. And then... Now, creatures, I guess, started to come back, or they started to become infected. Because everything's green. Even green people. Yeah, now there's... Large cities and large families, except now everybody's green. Everybody is... Joined. Joined together. In their infection. Now it looks like it's grown smaller and smaller, and now there's not that much left. So overpopulation. Great storms happened. Covered everything in water. Some sort of, I guess, like alien or, or something. Sort of plant life. Or some... I shouldn't even say plant life. Just some sort of biological... Thing started sprouting everywhere and taking over. And so the world wasn't... Killed. It just... Changed. But there's not that much left. It's like most people died out, it seems like. And now it's a water planet. Well, I can't say that makes it super clear exactly what happened. But at least I get the broad strokes of it. Yeah, I mean, whatever it is, it's obviously more than just plant life. I mean, it's it infects humans, it infects whales, it infects dolphins, birds. It seems to infect everything. Okay, 
here's the final supply. Miku is doing worse than Taku now. Are they stealing her life essence? If so, that's really not very nice. No, they took away the infection. So they're friendly. And there we go. Hmm, it says explore instead of continue. Maybe that allows you to go back for collectibles? Let's see. Of course, there's nothing actually left for me to collect except for boat upgrades. But there's not much point in that. Yeah, Taku's gone. Yep, I think it's just for you to go back and collect any missed collectibles. But there's no need. Well, let's talk about the game a bit and just go boating. See if we can find our dolphin friends. I really like this game. It's, um... It's beautiful and relaxing. It's got no combat. There's very little challenge other than actually finding all the secrets. Which definitely was a challenge, at least for the final secret. But there's very little challenge. It's mostly just really relaxing, and it's just beautiful. It's, it's gorgeous. Especially the water. And the reflections off the water, and the sun, and the light rays, and stuff like that. That is especially beautiful. And the soundtrack is wonderful. It's just really relaxing to play and lovely. It might be a destroyed city that's crumbling and falling apart, but there's also still so much life, so much green, and so much beauty. Even if the dolphins do look kind of sickly, they seem to be okay. They don't look very good, but they seem okay. They don't seem to be in pain. Everything is just living its life, and the dolphins even follow you, which is incredibly cool. You get to hang out with sea critters. I wonder where my dolphin friends are. Come on, dolphin buddies. Yeah, it was just a really lovely, pleasant experience. <gasps> Ooh, dolphin? Oh, no. It's a whale. 
Whales are cool too. And one thing I especially like also is just the feeling of being in the boat. Because I probably spent about as much time in the boat as I did controlling um, her character. You know, on, on solid ground. So in a way, the boat itself is almost as much of a character as her. And it feels lovely to control. It really does feel great just to just to boat and go over these waves and get a little bit of air and the force feedback that I get in the Xbox 360 controller every time I hit something. It feels wonderful. It just feels and sounds and looks wonderful. It's just really fun to control. Yeah, so there you go. That has been submerged. <gasps> Dolphin friends! Oh my god, perfect timing! Come with me. Let's sail off into the sun to end it, shall we? Come on, come with me. <laughs> that timing could not have been more perfect. I wonder if any more want to join. Sometimes I can get up to, I, I think, three. <gasps> There's two! Okay, two, two. All right, dolphin friends, you ready? It's time to end this journey. Do I have all three? I think I ha one, two. Yeah, I think I have all three. Yeah, there's three. Okay. All right, let's end this journey, dolphin friends. So, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching. <laughs>